What's up, friends of the good food? This is Money, and welcome to the Variety Specter Hangar right here, guys. Fully maxed and all that, uh, because you guys asked or keep asking, is the Spectre even still useful? I don't personally even understand that question, because you can still stealth jump on someone with four medium weapons and eliminating and walking away laughing at him when he wasn't even able to shoot you in many situations. Uh, but I want to pick up that question from you guys and just deliver a variety video showing you four different setups in action and proving to you once and for all that the Spectre is still one of the most dominant things in this game. Let's first start with Free For All and then go into Beacon Rush, okay? Uh, I made certain short-range brawlers with Orkins. I made a long-range uh, version here with Spectre and uh, with, with Pulsar and with Shock Train. And then the medium version here with um, with the good old uh, Tulumbas in, uh, on it, right? And in my opinion, Tulumbas are very powerful, very dominant, and very important uh, when dealing with, with guys at long range, right? So he just double jumped away. Wow. That sucks. Yeah, he's gonna get whooped immediately. Uh, he did not even want to fight me. That was crazy. Okay, am I gonna get him there? It's gonna be hard to get him. I did a bit of damage, but I was so far unable to kill him. Okay, okay. He let me run into a couple of his rockets. That was, that was really unfortunate, but... We were able to hold it out. We were able to keep uh, rolling it. Boom. Okay. All right. Here we go. Already two kills gotten. We have another orc inspector right there who did does not seem to realize we're here. I'm walking out of his range and forcing him into a jump. See that? Now he already jumped. That's... Uh oh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted. Uh, that's definitely not what I wanted. So there we go. And he's coming around the corner too. Walking into a couple of my rockets. And now I need to hold it out. Now I need to either make him walk into into my rockets. Corner shoot him. Like this. Uh, and kill him. Sure, why not? Just walk in there. No problem, dude. Alright, okay, you could argue that some of these players may not be playing incredibly smart at this very moment. But I would argue that he's gonna jump at me in two, one, there it is. So I would argue that um, it's also a matter of getting them to do what you want them to do. You know what I mean? So I want to keep all my four weapons, so that I can snack him instantly. Boom! The Orc Inspector, ladies and gentlemen. Is this not the most empower powerful thing in the game? Okay, now I'm getting snacked. I can make him waste a couple of his rockets, but that's it. I was able actually able to make him waste a lot of those. So let's choose the Tulumba version, because we know the Tulumba version is a beast, especially at countering Spectres with Orcans, you know? That is exactly, this this kind of his specialty to counter Spectre with Orkin. So let's see what this guy has. It may be actually another Orkin Spectre. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. No, 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 it's something faster. It's something, yeah, 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 he's trying to, he's trying to make me lose my firepower. That's what he's trying to do. Yup, and here he comes. So, I don't think he's gonna make it to me in time. Oh, wow, look how little health he's got. Oh, man. Oh, nice, he got locked down. Oh, damn it. Uh, that's not how I wanted this. I wanted to kill him and then kill this guy. That's what That was my plan. All right. By the way, we are having, just a full disclosure, we are having beak, uh, uh, boosters active, but only the shield booster and the HP booster, because I ran this for a video I recorded before, where I ran a, a tanky hanger, a, a complete tank hanger that I ran, and that's why I needed as much health as I could get. Boom! Gotten another kill right there. And now we should be able to get this kill too. Boom! Rampage. All right, all right, I know what you're going to say, guys. You're saying, okay, you know what, this is ridiculous, it works so everything you do right now works perfectly fine and you're really lucky, and you're right. I am, I am incredibly lucky right now. I don't know what the heck is going on and how I'm able to survive for so long. By the way, this Haichi is following me because he knows that I can't do anything against his, uh, against his energy shield. This energy shield makes my, my thing worthless, my Tulumbas. So I'm just gonna walk away from him. I don't need to fight the Haichi with um, with Tarans because uh, because I don't need to you know I can just walk away from him there no problem so see and now he's so far away and he's thinking oh come on man I followed you all the way over here for such a long time and now you simply jump away really 
Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> Before he was able to make use of it. And we now have another Haichi against us. Damn it. What, what's, what's with all the Haichis? Where are they all coming from suddenly? Ah! I need to just keep... I, I, all I'm doing right now is constantly dodging Haichis. Yeah, I'm in trouble now. Oh, come on! Yeah! <laughs> oh, God! Okay, guys, we think, I think we need to test this again because this is ridiculous. There's no reason why we should be able to do that that, that, that well in this combat. And, uh, and I don't know, just snack everybody so easily. Boom. He's almost destroyed now. I'm reloading some of my rockets, making him, faking him going to the other side. Reloading, reloading, reloading. Boom. Until the very last moment of which I know for sure I'm gonna one-hit kill the rest out of him. Woo! Okay, 12 kills. Oh, okay, that's a... Oh my goodness, a Lancelot. It seems like they keep bringing the counters to what I have. What the heck? There's... I, I don't need to fight him there. I'm never gonna get through him. Oh, wow, he's got Pulsar on this thing. I'm never gonna get through the Lancelot there. You can't forget it. This is just never gonna... It's ne never gonna happen. If he would jump to go to the right, I would able to I would be able to jump up once and get him there. Boom! Half the Kamiho is done. See that, man? And I don't have the boosters running for more damage, by the way. I'm not running this. I'm just running the normal uh, the normal shock train. So Okay, he did not understand that I didn't fire all my weapons. I only fired two at a time, uh, like one at a time, twice, so that I could make sure that if he dashes behind cover again, that I'm still good. Uh-oh. I wonder if I... No, I had to activate my stealth here. No chance. He's actually going to have his stealth earlier than I will. Yeah, and now he's coming back up, because he wants that kill so badly. All right, let's jump into the uh, Polzar version here, just to show this too. Boom, 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 boom. He's like, what the heck is hitting me? Lockdown. Thing is, he's now able to jump at us, right? That's a bit ugly. He's going to do this in two, one. Oh my god, I can't get down. Oh my god, I can't walk away! Oh my god, it took me five seconds to walk these two meters! The weapons are so long that you keep, keep getting stuck and you, you're stuck at the wall in front of me. Did you see that, guys? That was insane. So there we go. Lockdown and snack. <laughs> yeah, there was very little he could have done about this. And lockdown too? Come on. Nope, no lock. Oh, now he is locked down. I see. But unfortunately, we are reloading the weapon right now, so... Not gonna make use of this. I'm just shoot corner shooting pretty much, or just... Uh, I mean, how, how would you call this type of shooting? Ah, uh, you know what? I thought this jump was gonna make it. To be honest, I thought we were gonna make this far enough. Uh, I, 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 I was wrong. But we can still defeat him here. Boom. 16 kills. First spot easily. But, okay, okay, I admit, things were running incredibly well. <laughs> Let's do this again. We need to... Um, I think we should probably go on, on, on uh, Beacon Rush and see how it works then. Because Beacon Rush does not involve that much luck, you know. But use, I think what I was still able to show you guys is that the Orc Inspector is absolute insanity. You can just kill so fast with the Orc Inspector still. And uh, yeah, you lost three seconds of stealth. And yeah, the game has become more fair because of that. Because something that something many of you fail to see very often, that uh, the the stealth ability was too long. And it's good as actually the Mercury got the stealth ability a little bit longer because this one really needed it. It was very weak because of the short stealth. The Spectre was not weak, and uh, now it's uh, it's just more fair. And in my opinion, the Spectre is doing the same thing he'd always done, uh, uh, still. He's just doing it slightly slower, and he's just doing it with a three second shorter duration of stealth after he already killed his enemy. <laughs> so in most situations, you're gonna end up having your enemies killed anyways before you jump, and uh, before your stealth runs out. 
or very often, it depends on the jump and what enemy you're encountering, of course. Uh, Komiho, for example, you're gonna have troubles killing very fast when he dashes constantly, you know? So, Beacon Rush, ladies and gentlemen, let's start off with the Spectre with the Shock Trains here. A setup that, as you might know, <clears throat> is something that I personally don't consider very skill-based. Um, but, and, oh god, there's another one ne next to me. Banana. Uh, Bania Banina. Um, <laughs> which may as well be Banana. So, boom, boom. When the other guy hits him with this, with a thing. Okay, he doesn't for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why this guy, this, this Spectre Shock Train just ruined it. He gave, he gave the enemy the beacon pretty much. If he hadn't done that, if he had just fired at him, he would have died immediately. And he wouldn't have had a chance. But, you know what, it's okay. It's okay. Boom. There we go. Another Spectre bites the dust. And yes, you could argue, hey, you know what? The, normally the Spectre would not have been killed so quick because he would have still had his stealth. Yeah, that's right. Um, you're, you're tr it's true. But, you know, does he deserve that much stealth for so long after he has already been um, using four medium weapons on you with stealth jump? That's my argument, you know what I mean? So... But, ah, uh, what?! I somehow did near no damage to him. Let's walk away from the Orc Inspector there. I'm getting stuck at the wall, of course. Something that the Spectre uh, with with um, Orcans has constantly happening to him. Uh, Spectre with Shock Train. Okay, I got him, and then I got killed. All right, that's fine. We have done more than enough, and I think my team is going to capture this beacon really soon. But what we probably should be doing is capturing this one. So instead of jumping on them, I'm actually going here now to try and help out getting our beacon here on this base back. Alright, so they're already stealth jumping on the enemy there. Alright, this is problematic when the enemy constantly, yeah, the friends constantly stu st stick in front of you. Oh my god, this stealth. Did you see how long it lasted? Okay, I, I, I don't want to shoot into this guy's shoot, so I'm waiting. Uh, until I'm finally in, in in his shield, so that I can drop the Orc Inspector, and I got him. See, Orc Inspector was killed, but now I'm to kill too. I need to. I don't need to fire at him because he has the resistance active, and I'm literally in my base in a. Wow. Okay. No wonder. Look, the entire team is here. So what a smart player does now is a smart player says, you know what? Screw it. Take that beacon. Enjoy it. Enjoy yourselves with that beacon forever, while I'm going to simply take the beacon of the other base somewhere. And uh, I think that was uh, that would be what a smart player would do, would do. But hey, no one has ever accused me of being smart, okay? So let's walk away here, get killed like a maniac, like a noob, and uh, and try to lock down these guys before it happens. All right, block it. He's like, what? Instant kill. <laughs> the amount of damage he just took in such a short amount of time is ridiculous. Kill. Okay, so this guy's probably gonna have a stealth jump. Why else would he linger around the corner for so long? No, wait a minute. That's actually this dude. Okay. I used the seconds and moments I had to fire at him, but it was not enough to really... Oh, no. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. I didn't know there was a full Inquisitor. Oh, and the Mender is probably gonna come up to heal the Inquisitor now. Which I'm gonna stop from happening. Because I'm destroying that Inquisitor, hopefully, before he gets healed. Yep, there it is. And uh, now I'm getting killed too. Now I spawn here one last time with the Tulumba Spectre. And I try to make my personal little difference here. Whew, okay. So far we are in beacon control and nobody can say that our Spectre has not carried this match so far. We have really been carrying the match pretty good, right? Ah, he knew it. He knew I was gonna fire at him there. But I think I double splashed. I think I double splashed in there. I think I got both of them. Okay, got him. A little bit, though. Only a little bit. Damn it. I thought I was gonna be able to splash him around the corner there. The problem is this Fury. This Fury with his uh, Dragoons is, is, is really a problem right there. Um, he's keeping us busy. Yeah, I mean, there was no chance you were going to hit me with this. Yeah, I, I hit something over there to the right, to the other side. But I need to walk away here. Dude, dude, take a look at the other direction. Come on, 
See, I made him look this way because I fired into this direction. This is something you can do to make your friends aware of a certain danger or certain problem coming up that you just... Yeah, see, he had to use his stealth jump there at this long distance. He did not want to, but he had to, otherwise he would have taken way too much damage. Something was firing at me with Tulumbas a second ago. Oh, was that a friend? Was that friendly fire? If that was friendly fire, that sucked, because it showed... Yeah, it was friendly fire. It was him with his Tarans there. And I thought I was going to be in danger, and I thought somebody was attacking me here. And uh, and I need to stealth jump, you know? That was, that was dangerous what he's done there. It could have killed me. So, and I'm maintaining my last bot for as long as I possibly can here. And I think he's doing it again. Yeah, he was firing at me again. This time I knew it though, so I wasn't falling for it, but you know, it was, uh, it's dangerous when you do this. Sometimes you can make your friend think that, oh, I need to stealth jump, I'm under attack. When you actually, you are not under attack. Is that the Fury? I think this might be the Fury right there. No, that's not the Fury, it's something else. It's a, it's a Lancelot. Oh, wow, he's already in safety. Holy crap, that was quick. Okay, got this guy. And now let's walk away. We're still doing it with our... <laughs> we're still kicking with our one Tulumba Spectre here, guys. And the reason why this setup is in this hangar is because I personally consider this one of the powerful, most powerful Spectres. Because you can counter so many physical shield guys so well with this setup. Like this Lancelot, for example, or a Bulgazari. Even a Bulwark, when he has not not doesn't have his shoot up, you can do so many pretty powerful things. Uh-oh, he's in range. See, I don't even need to fire at him. There's no point, because all my friends here are, are running plasma stuff. And they will bypass his shield. Well, I, I would have to take down the shield completely. And since they are not even benefiting from me taking down the shield, I may as well not do it at all. But I can already splash the rocket around the corner, even though this is probably a Bulgazari with Shock Train and uh, with Scourge. A very powerful, very strong and dominant setup that I can pretty much nicely counter. <gasps> I'm almost destroyed. Oh god, this is so close. Ah, okay. Ah, come on. He wasn't showing. But we have it, guys. We have it in the back, and I think the Spectre has once again proven it's worth. Triple care. We were definitely able. Let's have a look at the statistics at the end. And um, in this case, I couldn't say that everything was running perfectly fine. Some of my Spectres I lost in like 30 seconds, okay? So it wasn't really that crazy good of a match. But look at the st statistics. Yes, maxed out. If you want to have Mark 1, just take 20% away from this. Uh, uh, which would be um, 280 uh, uh, damage done. But uh, it would still be an outstanding result, you know? And it's it's not based on the, the Mark stuff. It's really, it, most of that is based on the Spectre. Of course, running Mark level, you know, Mark 1 level 5 stuff, excuse me, would not have gotten us that far. But, um, you know, and I think at least in the high-end Champions League, we can at least assume people are moving are somewhere around between Mark 1, 12 and Mark 2, 12. Somewhere between that, this is where they are. And... Um, yeah, and usually you're not running Mark 2 level 5. <laughs> you run, you rather run Mark, Mark 1 level 12 then, right? So, and the Spectre worked fine. In my opinion, the Spectre is a very powerful robot. And uh, in my opinion, the second most powerful robot in the game still. After the Falcon. Maybe the Blitz. Mm, the Blitz is somewhere in between that too. I'm not quite sure how where to place the Blitz here. Maybe you guys have, a, have an idea where to place it. I'm gonna say thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more. Thanks for being with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.